for my day did my makeup I thought it would actually be fun to pick up the camera midday and do an afternoon and night in my life I feel like even in my week in my life I vlog pretty much every single morning but I don't really vlog in the middle of the day and at night so we're gonna switch it up I thought it'd be fun it's just a regular Wednesday so very basic day in my life every day is gonna be a little bit different just because my work schedule is always different but you're just gonna come around with me the outfit of today. We have a comfy outfit on today because I think Hunter and I might go on a hike later. So this is actually a skim set I just got in. It's still available by the time you guys are watching this. Hopefully, so I'll link it down below. But I want to get this in like a million colors. It's so comfy. This is what the back looks like. You guys know I don't really like too short of shorts. And I feel like these don't suffocate my legs. So I really, really like this set. Couldn't recommend enough. But I made myself my matcha. This is my second cup of the day. Well, I had coffee this morning. This kind of deciphers the morning versus the afternoon for me. I always make a second form of caffeine, whether it's a coffee or a matcha. It just gives me a pep in my step. <laughs> but usually I either have emails, editing, filming, or planning to do at the middle of the day, like any projects coming up or something like that. Every single day my goal is just to get through my to-do list. I write a to-do list every single morning. I'm sure you know that if you've seen like my morning routine videos. I think it's the best way to stay on track for the day. But I usually have personal to-do list and then a work to-do list. So today for my personal to-do list, I have cleaning and then packing for my trip. And then for my work to-do list, I have some filming I have to do, some editing, and then some emails. So that's what I'm going to do for the bulk of the afternoon. Make some lunch and then we have some errands. We're going to go on a hike tonight and then we'll make dinner and stuff. So that's kind of the layout of the day. I just wanted to let you guys know. So it's easy to follow along, but I'm excited. I don't know why. I just like woke up with a lot of inspiration, not only for like filming, but also just for my own personal life. I feel like I go in waves a lot of the time. And right now I'm riding the wave of feeling motivated and inspired for just having a productive life. Okay, pretty much the only thing I have to do for cleaning today, luckily, is laundry and then the floors downstairs because anytime we go on a trip, we like the house to be nice when we get back home. So last night we did the dishes, I cleaned the entire kitchen, we cleaned the living room, bedroom, closet, bathrooms, all of that. It took like three hours, but we feel really good today. My best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this Until we couldn't do it Each and every high Every night with you You and me so clueless you guys, I feel two million times better. Just cleaning the house makes me feel like ridiculously better. And I think that's because I'm such a naturally like messy person that it gets so dirty that it makes a huge difference. But I actually have some work I have to do. I have my notebook here because I have some planning I have to do for a project that I'm doing on Friday. You guys will actually see that because we're going to Arizona a day early to shoot this project. There's a studio there that I really like, so we're gonna go on Thursday, spend the day shooting on Friday, and then Friday night slash Saturday and Sunday is when we're gonna celebrate Katie's birthday. And Katie works all day on Friday, so it just like made sense for me to work also on Friday when I go. I'm super excited. I'll bring you guys along with me for that. I'm sure you guys could probably guess what it is, but you guys will have to wait till the next vlog to see, so don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss it. But I'm just gonna plan out a few things for that. I feel like I just respond a lot to the sunlight, and what I have to do for work is definitely like a creative part of my brain. I've always been a creative person. Like I just remember in high school and stuff, I used to always be someone that was like people would go to for ideas, which I proud of myself for having that creative side to me. But I always feel more creative when I'm sitting in the sunlight. And my bedroom's actually the most bright room in our house. So I feel like I just do a lot of work in here. we 
we keep going, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Hungry Root. Guys, if you're someone like me that has a very hectic, busy lifestyle, but you still prioritize grocery shopping and just filling your house with foods that make you feel good, that you love, that you enjoy, and like foods that you actually want to cook with, Hungry Root is actually a tech-enabled grocery store and it's personalized to your lifestyle. It delivers right to your door and it's just like super flexible. You actually start by taking a fun little quiz that asks you like your food preferences, how you like to eat, and then Hungry Root actually sends the personalized weekly deliveries filled with the healthy grocery along with the 10 minute recipes. You can actually edit your weekly deliveries and choose exactly what you'd like to receive. I personally feel like lately I've just been running around like my head is cut off like a chicken. So I was really interested to learn about Hungry Root. I like that they put together the box for you. Like I don't even have to go on there and like select everything. I just like that I can select them to pick everything. And then the more I use them, the more they actually learn like my personal preferences with food and stuff like that and then I like that they send you recipes so it's kind of like a mix between a grocery store and like a meal kit delivery I really like it I think it's super interesting I'm gonna insert the haul of the box I got right now this is what the box came like just wanted to show you guys before I unpack everything I'm so excited okay starting off I got these solely organic banana with cacao little jerkies they're really yummy you have to try them then I also got this chicken little jerky stick excited about that some honey mustard this vegan one big muffin. Also, I didn't pick any of these out. I actually wanted to do like the random box because I just kind of want to like try new products out, which I think this brand is really good for that because obviously like I've never seen this before. I've never seen that before. So it's fun to try different things out, switch it up. I'm really excited about these. These are whole grain pita breads. I thought that would be really good with like turkey on top. I'm going to put those in the freezer. Then we have a chocolate, co chocolate chip cookie. This is a little paleo breakfast bar. Some black bean salad, which sounds really good. This is like a cold item. Same with this one is a hummus. This is a cashew granola, can't wait to try that. They gave us some meat. This is like a chicken, and then there was also a ground turkey in the box. We have a Rip Van waffle, taco seasoning, egg bites, these little pretzel buns, which would be so good with the chicken on top. I got these yogurt, and then I'm so excited to try these. I've never tried bread and butter pickles. These look really good, so I'm happy they sent those. And then just some brown rice, quinoa blend, and then some jasmine rice, so perfect. The first 100 people to use my code Caitlin will actually get 40% off their grocery order at Hungry Root. I'm gonna put everything down in the description that you guys need to know, but you guys have to check them out. Let me know if you like them, and let's get back into the video. forgot to show you guys, but I made some chicken nuggets, buffalo cauliflower, and sweet potato. Coco can smell my chicken. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I also have my lemon lime olipop of the day. Ah! It just squirted right in my eye. This one's not my favorite flavor at all. They just sent me a big package of them, so I have like 20. I like to mix it with the mango juice that I've been using. This one's good. It's just not my favorite, but I've never been a Sprite person. Bless you. I feel like you sneeze in every video, girl. I just opened a really cute package I thought I'd show you guys. This is stuff that I got for my trip this weekend. I got this top, which I thought was so cute. It's different than what I would normally wear, but I really like green right now and I really like blue, so it's perfect. And I like the shape of it. thought that would be really cute. You guys will see that either on my Instagram or on the trip. And then I got a new pair of jeans. I've actually never purchased a pair of a Goldie jeans. I know they're like one of the most popular pairs of jeans, these and Levi's, but I tried these on in store a week ago and I really liked them, so I decided to order them. And then I got this Anine Bing sweatshirt, which when I ordered it, I didn't even see that it said abandon self-doubt, master self-confidence. I thought that was so cute, that's so on brand for me, so I'm happy I got this one. They have a bunch of different cute sweatshirts, but I chose this one and I like that it has this little snake situation. I don't know why, but I thought it was cute. Time of the day. I'm gonna take Miss Girl on her walk. Usually Hunter's the dog walker just because he's stronger, but we're gonna do it. You guys can watch me put on her leash. Hopefully she'll be good. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Come here. Come here. Will you sit? Thank you. Good girl. Come here. Show everybody what you know how to do. Good girl. Thank you. That is such a good girl. You don't want your treat? 
Okay, fine, I'll eat it. Just kidding, there you go. I don't think she likes these treats, babe. Really? <gasps> sit. Good sit. She always sits with that foot out. So cute. <gasps> Can I see your paw? Paw? Not giving you a hint. Oh, that's down. <laughs> We just pulled up to our little favorite hike. Honestly, it's so windy. Like, even just driving here, I was like, this might not work out. So we're gonna see, and then we might have to come back in the car. We have our jackets. I wanna take a pic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, why are you dating me? It sounded like you were agreeing to that. I was not. I brought the sweatshirt and put this over. So cute. Hunter's a part of my night routine, but he doesn't like to be on the vlog. I never said that, no. I'm actually really tired and hungry. I'm pretty tired. What do you think about our excursion? This is the worst idea ever. <laughs> it's so cold. It's like it's freaking... I think it's like 30 mile per hour winds. Yeah, it's like two degrees out. It's so funny because it's been hot. Like not hot, but it was like reaching summer and then just boom it's been so cold but if you want to come here crystal cove state park the best little view ever really cute for pics too just got home i made a pre-made salad it's actually a pasta salad it's a soba noodle salad by urban remedy I feel like I usually run towards like Whole Foods to just get like quick dinners all the time. Normally when I don't want to dirty the kitchen and that's kind of how I felt tonight. Especially since we're going out of town tomorrow. So I'm just going to hang out for a little bit, watch some TV, eat my soba noodles. And then we'll go upstairs, do some self care. I'm excited. We're going to take a shower, lighting this candle. This lighter does not make sense. have my fun drink. Just finished dinner, I'm going to take a shower. I actually feel like it's really rare for me to wear one outfit an entire day. It's so weird that I haven't changed out of this at all today. Mostly because like I'll work out and you know, change a few times. So it's mostly because I was gonna work out this morning and then I missed my workout class because I slept through my alarm. I was gonna go at 7 a.m. Yeah, that's okay. Like I never beat myself up for the days that I can't get to working out. Like if I put in effort or if I wanted to work out and I couldn't get to it, it's fine. There's so many other days that I do show up for myself and have that discipline or motivation that gets me to the gym. So even if I go three, four days in a row and I don't get to the gym, it's totally fine. Like my body knows what it's doing when it gets there. I feel like if I were to skip for like a week or longer, that's when I feel like the mental difference of it. But when you do work out with like the mental health and just like the release of endorphins, I feel like you're so much nicer to yourself if you skip a workout rather than out of like hatred towards your body or because you feel like you have to go. That motivation style can turn really quickly into a negative thing when you aren't hitting all the goals and hitting all the bases. So that's why I try to take the gentle approach with fitness and wellness and it's worked a lot better for me in the past couple of years. So yeah, anyway, my hair is like actually <laughs> disgusting. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. I just washed my face so it looks like I've been crying for three days straight, but I did get a little bit of soap in my eye. I used the Bestie number nine jelly cleanser. I'm using the Connolly lifting serum that I showed you guys a little bit ago. I think I've been using this for like a week or two weeks. I like it. I have been breaking out a little bit, so I'm considering if I want to go back to just like all Shawnee Darden again. I feel like my skin, it's not really the product that's going to be making me break out. Like I'm not sure if it will make you guys break out just because it's making me break out anytime I switch my routine up. But I did recently add in the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Marina Cream. So it could be that. I usually don't like to add two different products at the same time because then you don't know which one is kind of affecting your skin. But this one has a really yummy smell to it, but smells don't usually make my skin feel the best. So I don't know if there's fragrance in this. Something I have been doing is gua sha I do 10 passes on either side of my jaw. You can put your finger here.
you obviously want to make sure you're doing the exact same thing on both sides. But this is just good for lymphatic drainage. To me, it's the ritual of doing it too. I like having just something extra to add into my routine. 10 in the middle of my face. Same thing. I'm literally about to fall asleep. That's pretty much my skincare. Put some lip balm on. Call it a night. The rest of the night, I will usually go get like dessert or a snack downstairs. Not usual, I literally always do. Hunter literally said to me yesterday that he's never seen somebody with the hunger that I have. And that's very true. I'm just a bottomless pit and I, I like to snack. But your girl eats when she's hungry, stops when she's full. She really is full. Way too late but i just finished packing i'm turning more into a color girl i feel like i really like wearing just neutral outfits but with like a pop of color so i placed an order on revolve and i got some colorful stuff i got this sweatshirt i got this green really cute set you guys will see eventually some white t-shirts or not t-shirts but like white dress shirts bringing this cardigan it's supposed to be really cold in arizona actually this week i have my skin's long sleeve my new jeans i showed you guys the outfit for Katie's birthday night. Three pant options, because I don't know what I'm gonna wear with what. This is a top I'm actually gonna wear in the car tomorrow, probably with a sweatshirt, form hat, some bras, some PJs. And that's pretty much what I'm bringing. I'm actually really not like a pack savvy person. I don't even have like a cute suitcase or anything. I don't think it's like necessary. I definitely would want one. Like maybe I'll ask for one for my birthday since I might be traveling more. But for now, we use my dad's old suitcase. I'm kind of a throw it all in the suitcase type of girl. I also don't unpack when I get to my destination. I think that's definitely a personality type. You either do or you don't. I have never liked to unpack unless I have to hang something that will maybe like crease or something. Oh, I should probably wear work bring workout clothes. I'm also really excited because I'm obviously gonna go to the Madison when I get home, which is always my favorite part about coming home other than seeing my family and friends. But you know, so I'm gonna put some workout sets together right now and we'll bring those.